It is currently almost three o'clock and I have not eaten yet today. So this happens quite a bit where I don't have time to eat because I'm studying and then going to like a shift for work and then doing uh, like classwork and whatever. For dinner, I am eating a salad with chickpeas, olives, and carrots. Uh, basmati rice with peppers and onions, and then a lentil and rice soup. So, I'm doing vegan right this time at this dining hall that has a lot of options. On the other hand, what? I'm just saying yours isn't vegan. No. Nope. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, I am going to a farm to help develop some land. I'm not really sure what the details are, but it's a part of our service program. So I'm very excited to go and volunteer. So something very interesting that happened was my advisor asked us if we had any dietary, restric dietary restrictions. And for the first time, I had to tell her, uh, I'm actually on the vegan diet right now. Could you provide any vegan options? And I felt as if I was being a burden. But then I realized if this is something that I believe in, I should tell them and uh, I did and she was extremely understanding and she's bringing some options for me to eat tomorrow so I'm very very excited. Hi! <laughs> Day seven. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yay. It's not that bad. It's difficult, but it's been a lot better than I hoped. It's one thing to try to be vegan for the first time, and then it's, it's another thing entirely to do it in front of a bunch of people, like all giving you advice, right? Yeah, it's pretty nice, but it also is a lot of pressure. Uh -huh. and I hope this is helping some other college students. I'm not sure. I feel bad because I wasn't able to make it to dining halls because usually um, if I'm very busy, it, it literally means I have 15 minutes to get something in my mouth and then just run out the Yeah. Door. How's your energy level? Honestly, I'm doing pretty well. I feel better. I don't know if that's because I put coffee back in my diet or it's because of the vegan challenge, but um, overall my health is a lot better uh-huh i feel a lot more energy like i feel prolonged energy um i don't have to take naps which is really nice i don't know if that's the vegan thing either but that's pretty cool yeah vegans don't yeah. take naps at all it's just like yeah <laughs> I, I haven't slept in days <laughs> it was really nice because when we went on the trail i asked um my advisor for a vegan option and then she even like checked the box and the labels for me Nice. Um, we had some granola bars. I didn't put that in there. But um, she was like, yeah, this is vegan. I double checked. And I was like, you're so cool. Uh, and it's fun, right? When Sometimes when you put it out there, people will be really enthusiastic about uh -huh. helping you out. Yeah. And especially yesterday, um, my boyfriend and I were trying to figure out what to eat for dinner. And I said, you know, um, like I'm open to anything. I can make sure anything like is vegan because... There's going to be some option, whether it's like just rice or something. But yeah. Like, oh, well, um, you know, Duncan talked about the sofritos. Why don't we go to Chipotle? We went to Chipotle. We nice. got sofritos. Super good, but um, mm. they were kind of stingy and gave us half the portion of usual. So they gave me like a little bit of rice and a little bit of beans. So Ooh. No, you tell them, stop, put more rice on there, put more That's beans on right there. That's your right as an American. Yeah, they're not going to cut the you off. Constitution. Freaking Chipotle. You seemed a little sluggish on day five. You didn't eat until three o'clock. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the really interesting thing is usually if that happens, I put junk in my body and then I start to crash. Uh -huh. Cause for example, I'll gorge myself on muffins or something. Mm. But now um, I was tired, but as soon as I ate, I like bounced back. Uh -huh. It is difficult. I know a lot of people like bring snacks, bring snacks. But when you're constantly running from building to building, yeah. you know, I have a 20 credit hour schedule, I have two jobs, I'm in who knows how many extracurriculars, and I have to practice piano too, and I don't think people realize how difficult it is to actually sit down and eat or put something in my body when I'm literally running yeah. around campus. Yeah. So. What about bananas? 
I mean, oh, seriously. Oh, yeah, bananas. Uh-huh. <laughs> Usually I steal them bananas? from the dining halls. I mean, they're, they're cheap, right? Yeah, and they have them in buckets in the dining uh -huh. halls. They have apples, bananas, and oranges. Dude, bananas. my favorite thing ever is bananas and almond butter or peanut butter. Yeah. It's, like, so delicious. And you can eat them <laughs> while running. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I've been eating a lot more simpler since starting the challenge. Like, I'm not that adventurous, and I wish I could be. And also, um, being a college student, you're definitely on a budget, which is what I want to also remind the viewers. That they're like, oh, like, all these options. Like, yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> I'm surviving on $20 a week. Yeah. So. yeah. You're doing great. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank you. I think living by yourself or, like, living where there's a kitchen off campus, it's a lot more doable because you're able to see what you're making and I love cooking and I'm able to make a lot of different foods and be creative when I have my own kitchen but it's just something about like going to the dining halls and being like oh chickpeas that's pretty neat uh -huh. <laughs> yet again what would you be doing different if you were not doing the vegan challenge in terms of what you're eating I would be I guess being able to grab things without thinking about the ingredients. For example, we have a grab-and-go section, which is uh, literally you grab what kind of sandwich you want and you go. And it's very difficult because I just don't want to sit there and like, read the ingredients or um, be having to look at snacks when I'm in the coffee shops and going, okay, I can't eat this, I can't eat this, and then I have class in 10 minutes. Um, it's definitely not the meat that I'm missing. I mean, right now I can do fine without eating meat or fish. It's the hidden dairy that gets ya. Mm -hmm. okay. Great job. We're really looking forward to seeing what comes in the next week. Yay! Have fun. Don't High stress five. Out. Pow! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for being supportive. Your support and your community support has been very, very nice, especially in this challenge. I think what's really interesting about posting this on YouTube and having feedback is the people going, oh, like, I went through this, you're doing great. Yeah. This, these are some tips. And having someone behind you makes you want to do it more and gives you more strength. Keep it up. We'll talk to you soon. Right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So, I'm going to watch Cowspiracy at the end of this week, but I thought it would be interesting to get her reaction to a film earlier than that. So, I asked her to watch 101 Reasons to Go Vegan, which she's going to do Tuesday. Stay tuned for that. Should be interesting. And thank you, Ami, for fitting this into your very busy schedule. And goodbye.